so guys i am back with another video of try hack me and in this video we are going to solve principle of security the second path or hands on lab of a junior paint test tester so let's just proceed with that i mean in this room we will learn about what are the principles or you know may um uh, definitions of what are the triads uh, principles of privileges and many other things so let's just start with it now it says um a brief introduction about the frameworks protocol and what are these um in this room we are going to learn about this for now we just market is completed now we have the cia trade i guess you have heard about it the cia trade consists of three sections confidentiality integrity and availability you can just have a quick look about the confidentiality that the unauthorized access and misuse of data should be avoided for the integrity the information should be in the data state only in which it it was uh, left earlier or uh, modified it to be that should not be pampered or tampered with now availability is that uh, if i need some data it should be available to me if i have that specific access means if i am admin i need to have access to all the data is available and if i am a low privilege user i should have the access to the data which was assigned for me so now what elements of cia try to ensure that uh, data cannot be altered by unauthorized people so that integrity so data cannot be so yes it's integrity now what element of cia tried ensures that data is available its availability now what element of the cia tried ensure that data is only accessible by authorized people so that's confidentiality now for the task 3 we have pr principle of privileges um so those that there are two key concepts used to assign and manage the rights of individuals you can just have a look at it first one is pim and another one is pam that is privilege access management and identity management you can just have a look at it so it ask what does the acronym pim stands for that is privileged identity management i will just copy and paste it here now for the pam i can just copy and paste it here now it's asking if you wanted to manage the privilege a system access role what methodology would you use so for the access we will uh, take the pam and for the user role and responsibilities we will take the pim that is integrity now for security models continued it uh, we shows us two models the bell lab pedula model and another one is biba model in this um higher the privileges you have access to the data or uh, you know levels below you but you can't read the data up above your privileges uh, but in biba model you don't have access to your data below you but you have access to the data above your level so now it's asking what is the name of the model that uses the rule can't read up can read down so that is the bell lab pedula model i can just copy the name from here i just already copied now it's asking what is the name of the model that uses the can read up can't read down so can read up can't read down is the biba model I was asking if you you were a military, what security model did you use? I could I should have used the first one because I don't want uh, you know lower grade officers to know the confidential talks of upper grade. And if you were a software developer, what security model would the company perhaps use? That should be Biba model as the if you are a pen tester and you don't know what are the security flaws in the production level. 
then the application may have some vulnerabilities and that could lead to loss of the company so now the last task we have threat modeling and incident response those about preparation identification mitigation and review threat intelligence asset identification mitigation capabilities and risk assessment we have some principles and the description about it you can just have a look it is easy to understand i promise you you can just read by once and uh, understand that now we have uh, what model outlines spoofing so that's a stride a stride model has spoofing identity tampering with data repudiation threat information disclosure denial of service and elimination of privileges so that's a stride here now what does the acronym ir stands for that stands for incident response response sorry now you are tasked with adding some measures to an application to improve the integrity of data what a stride principle is this so we need to improve the integrity of data and we need to use this stride one so here in a stride by providing anti tampering measures we can increase the integrity improve the integrity now an attacker has spent penetrated your organization security and stolen data it is a task to return the organization to business as usual what incident response stage is this so now the attack is done um we need to um you know get the systems working and the company started so that will be a recovery stage so this was it in the video you can get your 3 euro swag voucher here and uh, that was it for the next video we are going to solve um, uh, walking an application in the section 2 that's also a free room so if you just like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your friend see you in the next video till then stay safe and happy thank you